Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. It is Juventus. They take on Torino live on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It is Juventus and they take on Torino. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? will line up. Wojciech Szczesny begins in goal. Filip Kostic plays with Juan Cuadrado in the wide positions. And up front, Moise Keane starts alongside Angel Di Maria. starting lineup for Torino. Well, the player that needs to affect the game is the one at the top of the midfield diamond. If he can get on the ball and dictate the play, they should control this match. And the match begins. Bremer, Danilo, and scope for them to produce something exciting. Alexei Miranchuk, nicely timed tackle. Quadrado. Di Maria now. Rabiel. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, I think most people in the game have huge admiration for Adrian Rabio. Stuart, interested to know what you think we should look forward to seeing from him. Well, Derek, whether he's on the run, driven a shot, hitting a volley, or even. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. It's a long time to go in this game. And they deal with the threat this time. And he takes on the shot. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Locatelli. Now Rabio. Alexandro. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Alexei Miranchuk, Ilic, 
Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, he looks threatening. Locatelli has eyes for goal. Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Possession ceded by Torino. And he's made headway. Oh, that is a superb save. Can he find the net? Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Di Maria. Can he give them the lead? It's still alive. And he clears it out of harm's way. Antonio Sanabria. And a tidy challenge. Well, the Juventus have controlled the ball in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some... Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, let's look at this again because it gets better and better each time you see it. It's perfect technique. Lots of movement on the ball and nothing the opposition can do about this apart from don't give free kicks away. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Radio. And can they make one of these passes count? Locatelli. Chance to play it in. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Read it well. Gigi. Di Maria. Oh, breezing past him. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Not a particularly strong challenge. Big chance to get them on terms. And a goal! That's what they wanted here, Juventus. It's level now. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then through on goal and just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Leveled it at 1 1 here. Antonio Sanabria. Well, not hard to read that pass. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will they profit from this situation? Might go ahead. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick. 
quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, we can see it again now. And it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. is moving again anyone's guess how this is going to finish 2-1 currently Mergin Vojvoda well, what can they do to stop him running at them that's all they can conjure for now so getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with home advantage albeit not by a lot Stuart what have you made of what you've seen so far well it's been a good watch so far both sides have tried to play oh Stuart they must score and it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Rodrado, the Colombian, cuts in. He's got to score! And now it is there for him. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. are getting their money's worth 3-2 in this match so half time it is the end of the first half here in Turin I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far well he's been brilliant he finished his goals really well he's shown a great awareness of how to find space and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems surely he get his hat-trick in the second half So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, spot on with that challenge. Bremer. Ball with Danilo. Kostic. He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. And he's fired over the corner. A decisive clearance it was. It's one corner after another. for the keeper 
The tackle taken away. Rabio. Ball with Danilo. Locatelli. And given away. Moise Keane. Chance to finish. Oh, that is a superb save. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Well, not hard to read that pass. That's useful play. Quadrado. Wojciech Szczęsny. Radio. And they're sitting ever deeper. Locatelli. Superb stop. Quadrado. Moise Keane. And he's broken free. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Moving the ball effectively. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Well, as you can see, Juventus have dominated possession. And as a result, have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch. And I don't think anything's going to change that. Has a go. Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. And they will. make the change now double substitution for Juventus about the delivery and a struggle to get it away properly but a crucial intervention inside the box Danilo Federico Chiesa the Bianconeri have given it away Radonjic this looks more than decent, but he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And played the pass well. Intercepting it intelligently. So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle.
playing it in able to deal with the threat it should be oh good work by the keeper Now sending it in. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. And a Juventus personnel change here. Federico Chiesa. Pogba has it. Di Maria. Nice looking pass. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, magnificent reaction. And the substitution will occur now. And fired over by Angel Di Maria. It might still be problematic. Closing down well. Constantly thwarted. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. <laughs> Taking the corner, Di Maria. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Juventus have given it away. Vlasic. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Can he play it in? Now Paul Pogba. Will he find the net? And still a chance. Moyes Keane. Magnificent defending. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance.